Okay, you guys, I had to make an emergency video because this is really big news out of the Fed. Today, the US dollar is on fire. It launched by a massive amount today in response to this right here. So today we had FOMC and usually uh, the Fed just kind of talks about their latest developments and there's not usually too many surprises with this. But today we got some very big news out of the Fed. You know, the man, the myth, the legend, Jerome Powell talked about Fed signals two hikes by the end of 2023. Now, if you're a newer trader, uh, rate hikes are usually viewed as very bullish for a currency. Now, the US dollar here, you can see across the board became today's winner by far, slamming against the New Zealand, the CAD, the Aussie, the Swiss franc, the pound, the yen, and the euro. The dollar is absolutely green today, launching off of this news. Now, uh, you can see if we start going through some of these crosses, you can see absolute chaos for some of the other currencies. You can see Australian dollar getting absolutely smoked at this level. We'll take a look at dollar yen, dollar yen launching past this level of resistance. Beautiful breakout to the upside there. Then you've got things like dollar CAD, which I have been bearish on and uh, I've been waiting to take a sell trade. But now with this recent news, it really changes things around. We'll take a look at DXY. This is a conglomerate of the US dollar and you can see this thing absolutely absolutely shredding through resistance. This is a really, really big move for the US dollar. Uh, and it comes at the news of some really big stuff. Now, if you are newer to Forex trading, you don't know what rate hikes or anything that means, essentially think of it like a stock dividend. A dividend is something that is paid uh, every quarter to a stock owner uh, as sort of like a, a compensation for holding on to a stock. It's like, a, it's like an incentive to hold on to a stock, right? Well, in Forex, there's something very similar and it is a essentially uh, that positive interest rate that central banks will offer. Now, rising interest rates are viewed as very bullish for a currency because it's sort of like a dividend. It attracts investors to put their money in U.S. bonds and U.S. banks, etc., because it offers some sort of yield. Now, when you're talking about billionaires and, and more uh, money, you know, flowing into the U.S. as a response to higher potential interest rates coming, that is very positive for the U.S. dollar. On top of that, usually an interest rate comes at the response uh, or interest rate hike comes to the response of, um, you know, a, an economy that is str strong and rebounding and coming back. Well, recently we've had a lot of concerns around the U.S. dollar with inflation. Well, this is a response from the Fed. Again, I'll read it just one second here um, to respond to that. And that makes it look really, really strong. I'm not going to lie. So uh, the Fed left the target range for its federal funds rate unchanged at zero to, uh, to, to 2.5 sorry, 0.25% in June, but policy uh, policymakers signaled they expect two increases by the end of 2023. That is more than what we were previously expecting. So the Fed will also continue to purchase bonds at a rate of $120 billion a month. Meanwhile, new economic forecasts show the GDP to grow at a faster 7% this year and PCE inflation set to reach 3.4% in 2021 to slow in 2.1% in 2022. Okay. So what does that mean? Nick, you've been bearish on the US dollar. What does that mean? Well, I am fairly quick when it comes to trading to admit when uh, I am wrong or when I am willing to change directions on something. And this has me potentially looking for bullish setups for the first time in a few months on the US dollar. This is a huge signal uh, that I really like to look for in my trading. So as of now, I am no longer interested in shorting the US dollar. It looks very strong. And with that positive catalyst, I am potentially even looking for long setups going forward. So this really changes things. If you've been watching my streams recently, I've been talking about looking to, to go long against the dollar quite a bit. But right now, this basically is changing some of that. As long as this catalyst is here, I think that this has potential to move the dollar higher for the next few months. So I'm looking one to three months, potentially bullish on the US dollar at this time, based on what we're seeing that catalyst out of uh, the Fed today. So really, really big news there. Just wanted to jump on here and share. Uh, so I am essentially looking for pullbacks on the dollar at this time. If we get them, then I absolutely will be looking for potential long setups. Now I'm going to be a bit picky because I want to see how this data uh, sort of processes for the next day or so, uh, but I will be looking for US dollar long positions going forward. Please remember if you're not already inside of our private discord, I share all of the trades that I'm taking. Uh, so, you know, whatever, whatever I'm taking as well as Frank, Patrick, myself, like I said, uh, all of the trades being shared will be of course uh, shared inside of the private 
private group. I think Frank had a massive trade today on the AUD JPY, which absolutely crashed and made its way down lower. We'll take a look at that just for fun. Aussie yen, look at that. So Frank was short on this thing. You can imagine he's having a pretty good day. Uh, absolutely seeing that thing. And he took it, he actually even you know, closed out the trade as it came into support. So absolutely lovely day in the markets for people who were short on the Aussie yen or long on the dollar. Unfortunately, I was not long before the news, but now with that recent development, again, the way I like to trade, I like to go with fundamental catalysts. So I am, of course, gonna be looking for US dollar setups going forward. So again, some of my favorite ones to look at right now would be dollar Swiss. Uh, I'll be keeping an eye on this for potential pullbacks. I also like the idea of dollar yen as a potential trade setup. We'll take a look here. Uh, like I said, breaking out beautifully of support or, or resistance, looking for a potential retest here to try and go long here. I like this quite a bit and um, just kind of cool to see this. So we've been high, we've been having some nice higher lows on these two pairs, but these two are now uh, prime candidates for me to be looking for setups. So I just wanted to to let you guys know I'm not jumping into anything I'm not rushing into anything but these are setups that are on my mind now one more thing I should say about gold we've been talking about gold a lot gold absolutely tanked in response to this data Again, when the dollar is really positive, that can be a massive thing uh, for gold. It can be a very negative thing. So uh, we've talked about this area at 38.2. If you're very bullish on gold itself, if you think that inflation will still be a problem, um, you know maybe you look for long setups. But for me right now, this is sort of on the sidelines. I am not so interested in running into gold now. So I've mentioned super bullishness on gold. This definitely sort of puts me on pause for that. Uh, and again, this is using the fundamentals plus uh, my technical analysis. So again, big, big fundamental news out of the US dollar. I uh, just wanted to clarify what kind of happened and uh, where I stand with it. Like I said, uh, obviously I'm, I'm fairly bullish in, in response to this. Uh, at the very least, what this means is that I will pause on shorting the dollar. Uh, I have no interest in shorting something that is looking positive. As soon as you get a big catalyst like this, I am, res you know, I respond to the market. I don't try and predict the market's every move. So seeing this is a huge deal. Uh, and so for me, it puts me on pause with that bearish thesis that I had. I had some great shorts on the dollar while things were negative, but now sentiment has really changed, uh, at least for now. And I am looking predominantly for long setups on the US dollar. So with that said, guys, thank you so much for being here. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. I do all sorts of videos on what's going on in the markets. Uh, and also, like I said, if I take any trades, you'll see them inside of the, the group. I think uh, Frank just, just sent something out here just a second ago. So uh, keeping my stop loss very low on dollar CAD trade. Uh, oh, so he took a trade on dollar CAD. So interesting. Yeah. Um, that's the thing. We got lots of stuff going on in the discord. So if you're not already in there, link down below in the description. And there's a promo code uh, with a discount. I think we're doing 40% off the gold membership this week. So if you are not already in there and you want to get the gold membership, like I said, down below in the description, get it for cheap. Thanks so much guys for watching. We'll see you back in the next one.